Hi, welcome to Yoga with Liza, day 57. Our essential oil of the night is Nirali. And Nirali is orange blossom essential oil, which has the most beautiful scent. Some people call it the scent of angels. And in history, Cleopatra put Nirali oil and jasmine oil on her sails as she went down the river to find her lover. So the poor guy didn't even have a chance. Nirali is one of my go-tos for an ear infection. I'll take a drop of Nirali oil and put it auricularly back behind my ear. And that works to um, help decrease the pressure in my ears and to help me hear better. So, <clears throat> okay, this says that I'm up and running. Now with Nirali uses, as with lavender, this essential oil is one of the most popular essential oils. As it not only has great therapeutic properties, but also has the most incredible smell. It's greatly relaxing effect on the body and mind, relieving muscle spasms, calming heart palpitations, and has a wonderful rejuvenating and regenerative effect on the skin helping to prevent ugly scarring and to fight stretch marks. Emotionally, Nirali is an all-around regulator for nervous system described as both sensual and spiritual. Nirali helps us reestablish the links between a disconnected body and mind. Consider this oil for any deep emotional pain that robs us of hope and joy. So Morali is what we need to be bathing in right now. And so popping on with, okay, here comes everybody. Nina, Cindy, good to see you. I'm talking about Morali essential oils tonight and it helps us in times of deep sorrow i said this is a time when we need to be bathing in Nirali essential oil which is made from orange blossoms um so Nirali, from the viewpoint of valerie ann warwood this is the oil that's made out of the orange blossoms. Nirali touches the realms of angels and anyone who uses it is brushed with the light of angels' wings. Nirali is one of the most precious essential oils, its vibration being one of the highest among them. It may be that it resonates with the energy from another light time in the universe. Perhaps taking its light from another sun in the vast cosmos, wherever the subtle luminescent quality comes from, it is omnipresent. Nirali is itself pure spirit representing the purity of all things. It is always loving, peaceful. Nirali brings light into any day but is especially useful 
whenever mistrust has overtaken reason or during dark periods of deep depression. Nirali has another purpose to bring self-recognition and relief. Our pain and sorrow is sometimes brought about because we have not seen how we might have affected others and inadvertently caused a rift or hurt others. Nirali allows the reflection that can throw light on wounds that tie us to old patterns of relating. As truth is revealed, the self emerges into wholeness and unconditional love, stirring the spirit in ways that can be both unexpected and liberating. Then the spirit can really soar. Physically antidepressant, anti-infectious, um, comative, systorative, and systolophytic. So it breaks open cysts by Valerie Ann Wurwood with the cards um, physically is used for muscle spasms, calming the heart, palpitation, is great for regenerating the skin, is used in cosmetics, wisdom of the earth's viewpoint. Nirali is um, Archangel Gabriel, energy of joy. So Nirali brings in joy. Whenever I smell it, I think of angel's wings. Um, again from the orange blossoms it facilitates and helps as anti-stress antiviral anti-strep staph antibacterial and aphrodisiac aids in shock fear insomnia sadness depression and loss um rarely Skip rarely is an amazing sedative and heart tonic is a precious reconnector to our higher selves. So Nirali orange blossom is a wonderful scent that helps us reconnect and be in the moment and bring ourselves into a place of more light. So Without the dark, we don't appreciate the light. You know, that yin yang sign with the light and the dark. Um, but Nirali helps us bring in the light. So I'm gonna light the candle tonight um, for the world meditation at eight o'clock. And we'll keep that in working. And then for the kids, Ricky, Wyatt, Angelo, Henry. Okay, I need the list. Jace, Cora, Ava, Maya, Braylon, Harper, Anna, Olivia, Scarlett, L'Oreal, Jason, James, Jensen, Emrys, Manny, Zenaida, Kyra, Weston, Carson, Owen, KK, Dylan, Nina, Lucas, Robbie, Michael, and Skylar. And again, if anybody wants to add in a niece, a nephew, a child, um, please feel free. Inbox me, call me, text me, email me, and I'll be happy to add your person in. So tonight maybe you all have some music on in the background and maybe you want your soup cans tonight maybe not depending on how you're feeling i'm working on building my stamina back up or keeping my stamina up okay and so just a gentle moving so tap the foot forward tap the foot back no this is grandma dancing not yoga okay and then bring 
that foot down, tap the other foot forward, tap the other foot back. I got this really cool Mother's Day video tapped from side to side with my grandsons and my son and they were dancing and had a great time gently side to side and really cool i guess their mom did the editing so okay so now we're loosened up and i know some of you out there are dancing partners of mine at different places different gigs um, my friend Charlie, my boyfriend Charlie, however you want to look at it, depends on what kind of mood he's in, what he says. Um, he plays guitar, and so sometimes we're out dancing together, and that's like a real good thing. And maybe we go around in a circle, and then when we smell that Neroli essential oil, out comes the sunshine always makes me think of the sunshine and i'm rooting my feet into the mat breath bring the hands down bring the heels in and we're coming into cloud and grown-ups you can join us or you can watch breath and then from cloud feel our star and then from our star bring our hands together we have the full moon when we make a circle with our arms and then bring our arms up overhead, bring our feet in together, arch over to one side, inhale back up, arch over to the other side, come back to center, bringing our arms out in a T, coming into our flying bird, Bring that one foot up, bring that foot back down, shift, pick up the other foot, gentle stretch. Bring that foot all the way back through center. I'm going to bring my right knee to the right and come into my tree and bring my hands to heart center, breathing into it. and bring that right foot down, plant the foot into the earth, bring the left knee to the left, pick that foot up, coming into our tree, gently. and bring that left foot down, bring it down. Butterfly, ladybug comes out of the tree. And this is Luna. And Luna believes that this is her place in my yoga practice. And once we start moving, she may move too. Bringing my hand down in front Great big lion's breath roar. <sighs> bringing my hands around, bringing my knees to the mat. We're going to do cow and cat and cow and cat. Gently bring ourselves back, arms out in front, feel our child's pose. Maybe we walk our hands over to the left.
Bring our hands all the way back over to the right. She's much calmer tonight. I used catnip on my knees because it helps with the achies, yes. And she was attacking my knees, bringing the hands back out in front. Inhale back into tabletop, plant the toes, come on back. Let's feel our downward dog, breathing into it. Walking our hands back to our feet, tuck our chin, roll up one vertebrae at a time, bringing the arms all the way up overhead. Bring the hands back through heart center to Dasana. All right, we're going to sit down onto the mat. Grown ups, maybe you come to sit down a different way. Ricky, I know you can do this, Why you can too. Bring our hands together, gently bring ourselves down to the mat. Soles of the feet come together. Feel our butterfly or our cobbler pose. Gently let the knees come out to the side, breathing into it. She thinks she owns the place. Bringing our knees back in, give ourselves a hug. Gently bring yourself into easy cross leg. I'm giving my favorite mudra out to my grandchildren. That's the I love you mudra, which is actually sign language. And wherever you are, coming back down onto the mat gently, nice and easy. So say Wyatt, she's a good girl. Yes, say hi to Wyatt. Good girl. Okay, bringing yourself in. Now tonight, I've shared with some of you, and maybe Megan's out there too, um, doing my nightly world meditation to open the practice. If you're a Reiki practitioner, you're welcome to join in and beaming light out into the world. And you know, so it kind of looks like this. We're shining light down on the world. That's what the sun does. It was a strange day here. The sun was in, the sun was out, it rained, it didn't rain. Anyway, we shine light onto the world and there's North America, so that's out towards you. And then we'll see what we need to see and maybe we'll help somebody heal that just needed some positive energy and a positive boost. If you're a Reiki practitioner, hold the distance symbol in your head. As you beam to the earth, we're using the earth as a proxy in sending out healing energy to the earth. And breathe.
bringing our hands into heart center. Setting an intention for our practice. Make it all the way through the practice, maybe your intention. Maybe dedicating our practice to ourselves first, and then maybe another, a family member in need, somebody who's working to the world to, but always to ourselves first. It's like the oxygen mask that comes down out of the airplane. We have to put it over our own face first. Then we can help others. I'm smelling my Nerali flower today, blowing out the candle. Breathing in and out, Ujjayi Pranayama. Inhale, bring the arms up all the way out and around. Inhale, bringing them up all the way out and around. One more time, inhaling up all the way out and around. Breathing into it, bringing our knees together, giving ourselves a hug, scrunching into a ball. Inhale, bring the legs up, feel our boat, maybe your boat's here, wherever your boat is. Exhale, bring the hands and the feet down. Inhale, up, reverse tabletop. Exhale, come down, bring it up. Exhale, down, inhale, up. Exhale, down, inhale, up. You get the idea. Breath. Bring it back down, inhale, up. Feet to the mat, bring it up one more time, sitting, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, one more boot, one more reverse tabletop, bring it back down onto the mat, bring the feet back and around. Bringing the hands out in front, feel our tabletop. Bring that right hand up, open and close. This is for you, Carol Ann. Bring that back, bring the left hand up. We're getting the counter stretch on the wrist. Breathing into it. Bring that left hand back to the mat this time. All right, Cal, tuck it under, cat. Come back to center. Yes, I'm gonna bump into you. Bring that right knee straight out to the right, flexing that foot. Exhale, bring the knee down. Inhale, bring it back up. Exhale, down. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Inhale, up. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, bring that right knee to the mat. Left knee straight up. Exhale, down. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. One more time. Inhale, exhale. 
This time, bring that right knee up to the elbow. Bring that foot back, cross it over, look back over the shoulder. Inhale, bring that knee up. Exhale, bring it back. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Bring it all the way back over. Bring that right knee to the mat. Left knee comes up to the elbow. Exhale, cross it over. Inhale, up. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Bring that knee back to the mat. Plant the hands, plant the toes. Pick up the knees for bear. From bear, push back, downward dog. Inhale, high plank. Bend the knees, feel our bear. Come back, downward dog. High plank, bear, downward dog. Come forward, high plank. Bear, downward dog. One more time, come forward, high plank. Bear, my knees are not touching the mat. Push it back, downward dog. Five deep breaths. Step, walk, jump, come to the front of the mat, flat back, fold, inhale all the way up, bring the hands back through heart center to dasana, gently head one side, head to the other side, bring the head back to center, right ear to the right shoulder, look down at the mat. Inhale, back through center. Left ear to the left shoulder. Look down at the mat. Inhale, back up. Hatha Suyi Namaskare. Inhale, bring it up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, flat back. Right foot back, low lunge. Plant that right hand, pick the left hand up. Left hand comes back, high plank. Maybe you come down, knees, chest, and chin the first time. Inhale up, baby cobra or upward dog. Come on back over, downward dog. Five deep breaths. I'm taking the knee pad out of the way. So we can really start moving. Pick up that right foot, bring it up in between the hands, low lunge. Plant the left hand, pick the right arm up. Bring the right arm down, step forward, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale all the way up. Bring the hands back through heart center to dasana. And if you have your weights, you're welcome to use your weights um, or your soup cans. Inhale up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, flat back. Left foot back, low lunge. Plant the left hand, pick the right arm up. Bring the right arm down. Step back, high plank. Chaturanga. Upward dog, back over the toes to downward dog.
breathe in through the nose out through the nose Pick up that left foot, bring it up in between the hands, low lunge. Plant the right hand, pick the left arm up, bring the left arm down, step forward, flat back, fold, inhale all the way up, bring the hands through heart center to Dasana. Ashtanga Sina Mascare. Inhale up, exhale, fold, inhale, flat back, step back, high plank, chaturanga, upward dog. Maybe you put your extra push up in, come on back over, downward dog, five deep breaths. Jump, walk, jump, flat back, fold, inhale all the way up, hands come back through heart center, to Dasana. Step the left foot back, right foot forward, feel our warrior one, square off our hips, bringing the arms up overhead. Maybe you bring your soup cans with you or light, light weights, honor yourself, bring that knee to the side. Okay, so we're gonna bring ourselves cactus arms, inhale up, exhale down five times with your breath. Hands come to heart center, warrior three. Step, tap, pick that back foot up. Coming into our warrior three, level it off. Bring that left foot back to the mat. Inhale, bring the right foot back, warrior one. Back ankle squared off, the foot comes to the side, bringing that arm up overhead gently. Sign cactus arms. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, bring the arms up. Step, walk, tap. Bringing yourself level, arms come straight out in front. Bring that right foot up, bring it back into the mat. Inhale, bring it up, bend the knees, feel our Ukatasana chair. Exhale, forward fold, Suya Namaskar B. Inhale, flat back, step, high plank, Chaturanga. Maybe you come down to the mat. Inhale, upward dog, plant the toes. Come on back over, downward dog. Right foot comes forward, warrior one, bringing it up. Come on the ball of the back foot, bring it back around. High plank, chaturanga, upward dog, downward dog. Pick up that left foot, bring it up in between. Come on up, warrior one. Exhale, bring it back down. Come back, chaturanga, 
upward dog extra push up if you want it downward dog five deep breaths Step, walk, jump, come to the front of the mat, flat back, fold, bend the knees, Ukatasana, inhale up, Tadasana, breath. All right, we're going to step it wide, feel our star pose, and we're going to do a little dance here. While we're holding this for a moment, true story, kids were uh, maybe 15, 14, and 13, and I used to go to yoga every Wednesday night, and I wasn't going to go because they were home, and my oldest son, who was 14, 15 at the time, says to me, Mom, go to yoga. You yell less when you go to yoga. So gently bring the right toes to the right triangle, bring it up, come into our trikonasana. And he's right, I yell less. Whatever it is doesn't change, but my perception of it changes after I come through my yoga practice. Inhale, bring it back up. Right toes come back to you. Left toes come over. Feeling my triangle. Breathing into it. Inhale, back up, bring the arms out in a T, bring the hands back behind. So we're doing yoga mudra, looking up, open and close, open and close. Close the mouth and swallow. Bring the chin back to chest, hinge at the waist. Bringing the left arm down and the right arm up. Bring the right arm down and the left arm up. Bring the left arm down, make my knees soft. Inhale, bring it back up into star. Right toes over, bend that knee, walk it back. Warrior two, five breaths. Inhale, straighten that right leg. Gently shift the hips from side to side. Soften the arms. Bring the arms back out. Bring that left leg over. Breathing into it, warrior two. And maybe you choose to put the soup cans down. They're optional. Breathing into it. Bring the hands back into heart center. Bring that left toe over. Come side to side, side to side. Maybe you bring it deep and come full wide leg. Walk it all the way back over to the other side. Come full one leg long. Come on back to center. Bring the arms back up, feel our star pose. Bring that right leg, toe to the right, 
come back into our warrior two. Bring the right palm up with or without the can. Reverse our warrior, peaceful, exalted. Reverse breath. Bring that right knee towards the pinky toe. Bring that right elbow to the right thigh. Feel our easy side angle. Maybe we bring one arm straight up and the other arm down. Inhale, bring it all the way back up. Bring the hands to heart center. Toes come towards me. Release the hips. Audible sigh. <sighs> All right, bring the arms back out. Bring that left toe around. Feel our warrior two. Left palm up. Reverse. Exalted. Goes with Archangel Gabriel, right? Breath. Exhale. Easy side angle. Maybe this left arm is holding the, your can or your weight. Maybe you stretch the arms and come deeper in the hips. Your choice. Smile. This is fun. Bring that right arm down. Come on the ball of the back foot. Feeling my low lunge. Now, in low lunge, pick up the middle, arch the spine like you're coming into cat. Now, from cat, straighten the spine, the head feels a lift. So the weight's even between the front foot and the back, and we're straight spine even, that core tailbone is engaged. Beautiful. Inhale, bring it all the way up, high lunge. Hands come to heart center. Bring that right elbow to the outside, high lunge twist. Maybe that right hand comes back to the inside. Honor yourself at your edge. Bring that left hand down. Bring the right knee down. Bend that right knee. Reach back with your right arm. And this may be right where you hold. Maybe you pick up that left arm and bring it back behind as well. I need my knee pad back for this. Gently and pause. Bring our knee pad back. Honor yourself, right? It's all about feeling good at the end. Breath. Bring that foot back up. Maybe both hands come back. So this is the beginning of a king pigeon. Breath. Maybe you have one arm. And then you do the other arm. Bring the left knee back. Bring the right foot forward. Pick up that left knee. Feel our low lunge. Hand, foot, hand. Again, arch that spine. Now tuck the tailbone, straighten the spine. Feeling the weight even between both feet. Inhale. Bring it all the way up. High lunge. Bring the hands to heart center. Left elbow comes over. Maybe the left hand comes to the mat. On the inside, maybe you open wide to the outside. Honor your edge.
bringing the hands back to the mat. Bring that left knee back down. Reach back behind. Maybe you twist to one side and you have that foot. Maybe that foot's in the mat and you're twisting to one side. Now come back through to the other side and maybe you hold that arm. This arm can come up and over. Maybe both arms come back behind. Feeling the quad stretch, breathing. A couple weeks ago, we did this up against the wall, remember? Breath, some of you were here. I know you're busy in your practice, breathing. Good, that's what we're supposed to be doing. Bring that left foot back. Bring the right foot back. Come on. High plank, chaturanga, or all the way down to the mat. Baby cobra, upward dog. Plant the toes. Come on back over, downward dog. Five deep breaths, breathing into it. Step, walk, jump, come to the front of the mat with a flat back. Exhale, fold, inhale, all the way up. Bring our hands back through heart center to Tasana. All right, we've done warrior three. Let's bring that right leg straight out in front. So I'm going to shift the weight to my left foot, pick up my right maybe where I hold, maybe I have my toe, maybe that right foot comes to the right. Bring the right foot back to the mat, shift the weight to the right foot, pick up my left heel, Left knee comes up. Maybe I have my left toe and my foot comes to the left. Five, four, three, two, one. Now this time I'm bringing my left foot into tree and I'm coming into my half lotus tree with my hand tucked back around. Maybe you bring your foot in here. Wherever you are, you're a good person. It's all good. Happiness, fun. Now, maybe we come into flying pigeon. If you have that foot up into the crook of your arm, now maybe you come forward and bring your hands down to the mat, fingers wide, chaturanga arms, hook that foot and come into your flying pigeon. Balancing on that arm. Maybe, maybe not. Bring ourselves back up. Let's gently twist from side to side. Coming back to center. Shift the weight to the left foot. Pick up the right. Bring the knee to the right. Gently come into our tree on the other side and bring that arm back around. And this may be right where we hold. Mm -hmm. 
maybe we come into flying pigeon on this side. So again, gently tucking that foot, bringing our hands to the mat, tucking this arm, arms into chaturanga arms, and that right leg comes on top. And that knee says, I'm holding right here. However, I know that there's people who are watching who can do it. Bringing yourself back up, gently stretch, come back from side to side. So, Ashtanga Suya Namaskar A, and then we're gonna come down into seated. Inhale, bring the arms back up. Exhale, come on back down. Inhale, flat back. High plank, maybe you go straight to downward dog, chaturanga, upward dog, maybe you do your extra push up, come on back over, five deep breaths. Step, walk, jump, bring ourselves through into seated on the mat. And maybe you have a blanket or your knee cushion that you choose to sit on. Maybe you choose to be flat on the mat. Gently, left leg straight out in front. Bring that right foot in. Toes up to the ceiling. Lift up, come on back down. Gently walk the hands forward. Now, maybe that right arm reaches to the outside. Inhale, bring it all the way back up. Bring the right leg out in front. Bring that left leg in. Exhale, gently hinge forward. Maybe that left arm comes to the outside. Maybe you're here. Maybe your belly's flat to your thigh, your chin is on your knee, and you're looking at your toes. Inhale, bring it back up. This time, I'm going to take my left foot into the crease of my right thigh. And this may be right where I hold. Maybe this left hand comes back around to my right elbow and I hold on to that foot. So this is the seated version of the Ashtanga tree in the bind. Okay, so yes, they all have their own names, but if you think about it, it's just the same shape in a different position. Maybe you can grab those toes with your left hand and reach forward. Inhale, come all the way up. 
gently release that left leg out in front let the feet windshield wiper now bring the right foot up bring that right leg to the crease of the left thigh and this may be right where you hold maybe that foot's all the way down here that's okay but this is the goal where we're trying to go i'm going to bring my right arm around maybe it grabs my toes maybe not maybe we take the strap and wrap it around the foot and tuck the strap back to the right hand and gently lean forward for that left foot honor yourself breathing into it like i said maybe the foot's down on your shin that's okay inhale come on back up gently cross the right leg over Maybe that left foot comes back. We're coming into half the Lord of the Fishes. Bringing ourselves all the way back around. Coming back through center, bringing the hands around, bringing yourself all the way up, coming all the way back around, yogic twist around. Maybe you uncross and recross, gently coming into half Lord of the Fishes on the other side. Coming back to center, stacking the knees, bring that right arm up, bend the elbow, coming into our cow face, breathing into it. Maybe we hinge forward. Inhale back up. Maybe you uncross and recross. Maybe we bring it back around. You'll get twist around, bringing the right leg on top of the left, stacking the knees, pinky side of the toes to the mat. Left arm comes up, bend it. Maybe that right arm comes back behind. Five four, three, two, one. This time, as we release, pick up that right foot, straighten the left leg out. Gently rocking. Maybe that left foot comes into the crook of the right arm. Breathing into it. gently now taking the outside of the right foot in the left hand bring that right leg up maybe we bring our hand underneath and bring that foot back behind over our head bring that right foot back down to the mat Bring the left knee in, gently rock the baby, opening the hips, breathing into it.
Now the right hand comes to the outside as we straighten the left leg. And maybe it's down here, that's okay. Maybe that left arm comes through and we bring it up and over. Breath. Now, bring that left leg out in front. Bring the hands to either side. Pick ourselves up. Pick the right foot up. Pick the left foot up. Maybe you pick both feet up. Come on back down. Shake the hands out. Shake them out. Shake them out. Shake them out. Now, maybe you do that one more time. Bring the lift up. Maybe you come into full lotus. So maybe left foot comes in. And then we bend the right knee. And the right foot comes up onto the left thigh. Shin, thigh. Coming into full lotus. Now, once we're in full lotus, you say, what good is this? Because this is where we can tuck the tailbone under. I'm using the blocks because I'm on the blanket and I can pick up everything and then gently let it come out. As we bring ourselves down onto the mat, maybe you come through one more sun salutation Maybe you choose to come all the way down onto the mat. Bring the feet wide, let the thighs drop together. Bring the arms out in a T. So for some people, full lotus is second nature. Bring the knees to the right. Maybe that right foot comes up on the left thigh. Maybe you want to keep the feet wide. Bring ourselves all the way back through center. Gently let the knees come over to the other side. Bringing the feet back to center. Inhale up, bring the hands underneath, coming into our bridge pose. Five deep breaths, maybe you reach for your heels, maybe you have yoga mudra. Come into your favorite version of bridge. Exhale, bring ourselves back to the mat. Inhale, bring that right foot back up to the ceiling. Gentle circles. Walk our hands up the back of the right leg. Bring that left leg out. Feel the stretch split on our backs. Gently release the right foot, bring the left foot up and the right foot down and feel this stretch.
hands come to the mat. Maybe we bring our fists under our sit bones. Scissors kick, scissors kick, scissors kick. This is for you, Auntie Honey, having trouble with our scissors kick today. Breath. It's an old saying that we used to say when a day wasn't going quite so perfectly. Scissors kicks. Three more times each side with the breath. 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 Bring it up. Exhale, bring it down low, low, low. Together, bend the knees. Bring them back up. Exhale, low, 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 low. Bend the knees. Inhale, bring it up. Exhale. Bend the knees. Bring it back up. Exhale, bend the knees, inhale, back up. Exhale, bring it down, bend the knees, bring it back up. Last time, exhale, bring it down low, bend the knees, bring it back up into bridge. Exhale, bring it down. Inhale, bring the legs up. Bring it wide. Bring our hands through the center. Exhale, come down. Bend the knees. Inhale, come back into bridge. Exhale, bring it down. Bring the legs up wide. Hands through center. Come back down on the mat, bring the legs together, bend the knees, feel our bridge, exhale back down, inhale, bring the legs up, bring them wide, bring the hands through center, come on back down, legs together, bend the knees, inhale up, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale so on legs together back down on the mat back to bridge one more time bring it down pick the legs up bring the legs wide hands come through center bring them back bring the knees back down to the mat bridge exhale bring it down bring that right leg over Come into our incumbent pigeon. Bring the left foot to the mat, bring the right foot over, bring the right arm to the right gently. Coming back to center, uncross, inhale up, exhale back down, pick that left foot up, cross it, coming into incumbent pigeon.
Bring that right foot back to the mat. Bring the left foot over. Gently feel this gentle twist. Bringing ourselves back to center, bringing our knees in, feeling our happy infant. Maybe we have our toes, the outside of our feet. Maybe the hands come through center and wrap around for tortoise on our backs, wherever you are. Bringing our feet straight up in the air. Legs up the wall. Maybe you come into your shoulder stand. Maybe you hold right here. Wherever you are, bringing your spine back to the mat. Gently, as we lower our feet, maybe we bring ourselves up into our fish. Gentle fish is bringing our hands back behind, looking up to the ceiling, open and close, open and close. Close the mouth and swallow. She's giving the world kisses. Bringing ourselves back down onto the mat. Coming into our Savasana. Gently stretching. Squeezing our toes, making them tight, letting them go. Squeeze our calves and our shins and then let them come at ease. Squeezing the thighs and then let them come at ease. The hips, the low belly and let it come at ease. The chest and the shoulders and let it come at ease. Make a fist, arms engaged. Exhale, let them go. Throat engaged and released. Make a scrunched apple face and let it come at ease. Our breath goes on automatic pilot. And yes, the Reiki energy will still come to you if you ask.
becoming aware of our breath, wiggling our fingers and toes, turning our head from shoulder to shoulder, stretching our arms up overhead, bringing our knees into our chest, giving ourselves a hug. Gently roll over onto the right side. Bringing our hand to the mat, coming up one vertebrae at a time. bringing ourselves into easy cross leg. And maybe you have somebody with you or maybe they're off by the screen door. Bringing our hands to heart center. Thank you for practicing with me today. May the light within me salute the light within you. And when we are at this place, we are all the same. Namaste. Be happy, safe, and healthy until we meet again. Oh. I'll be here tomorrow night, 7.20. I'm glad you came, Cynthia. It's good to see you. It's good to see you, Cindy, Nina, Ethel. Anne, good to see you. Debbie Lou. Marie, Dave, Dorothy, good to see you. Denise, good to see you. What's my word for the night? Cynthia, good. You have a good night, too. Katie, good to see you. Amanda, good to see you. Thank you for a lovely dinner.